All right. LG Blu-ray surround sound, home theater, model number LHB336. And this is the front right speaker, plugs into right here, the red color. And then the rear left and the rear right, plug into right here. That's the rear right, the gray. And the rear uh, left is the blue. So if you're facing the TV, the rear left and the rear right is the gray. Subwoofer is the orange and the center speaker is the green. And the front left, which is obviously that one, right there. And then the cable box, HDMI goes out from the cable box to the input on the TV on the Blu-ray surround sound combo it has that Wi-Fi ready wireless uh, antenna you can plug in here or always try to do a hardwired connection optical input out from TV to you can do optical in and then HDMI out to TV, HDMI input. Okay. That's the cable box. And these are all labeled right here. It's the FM antenna. This is the audio video out. This is a component video out. This is a just composite video out right here where my finger is. You can see that. Red and white audio analog input. And then this is the iPod dock right here. This right here is the thumb drive. You can plug in USB thumb drive for pictures and MP3. The port in, it's just like a regular headphone jack. And then you can turn it on. So where's the remote right here? Here's the LG TV buttons so while you set it up unplug it when you set it up and or else you get electrocuted or short something out all right now here's your inputs and your function inputs on your blu-ray surround sound unit these are the tv inputs so that's the TV. When you hit that, that's the TV inputs. So when you hit that button right here, it's going to change the TV input. Right. I labeled that by hitting... It's going to stay labeled HDMI, right? Yeah. So I actually labeled it. It's dummy proof. I labeled it cable box HDMI 1. Right. All right. And to label that, you just press the blue buttons. See how the buttons are colored? Actually, it's on the other remote. The TV remote, you hit the blue button to label it. All right, so now turn it on. All right, now it's hit because it's HDMI input, the cable box plugged into that button right here and then go down and then down again to HDMI input and hit enter. And you should have cable. Eventually. There you go. Okay. Now you just raise the volume. I'm thinking of a small plane made a surprise. And then change right here the sound effects the button. Beach, literally yeah. on the beach. The sound effects button that they toggle the modes. The sound modes. Right. Alright, now to get uh, play a movie, hit play. No one was hurt though. To play a movie and it'll automatically switch. I should change that, hopefully. That's it making a noise, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Well, I, sometimes I, you hear that. And eventually I should turn on. Yeah, there it goes. And then you hit enter.
Okay, that's fine. Now to get out of that, hit input. Okay, and then HDMI one or in input right here. Hit enter, and should go back to cable. And it does. All right, so you're good to go right, right there. And it's always set on the TV input. It's always set to HDMI one because um, you got the cable box going to here, and then this going to your TV input. Yeah. So if you had like uh, another thing like an Xbox or um, PlayStation 3, you would have to hook it up straight uh, HDMI 2 on the TV and then do like an optical out input. So you would have to hit this button and then hit it again. You could then hit that button again and do like an optical right here. And then now would toggle your PlayStation 3. And you would actually have to hit input right here to change it to HDMI 2. I mean, there's so many different ways to set it all up, but mm -hmm. this remote, you'll be golden. One button does everything. The Harmony uh, 650.